Welcome to our weekly segment of All Things Current in California Politics. I'm Walt Gray. We're joined this week by ABC 10 political reporter Morgan Reiner. Morgan, nice to have you here on this Sunday. Uh, the governor is buying books for Temecula, and the school district there or the school board doesn't want those books. What's going on there? So first, it's important to point out that this is a national trend that we're seeing across the country, where in blue states that have some red school districts, in red states that have some blue school districts, these state legislatures, the governors are trying to take back control from those local school districts as the country continues to grapple with these culture wars. And we're seeing that right here in California. The Temecula Valley School District is considered a red district, a red area, and they banned supplemental material because it named a gay rights activist. And the state is intervening now. The state is saying that they are going to purchase those textbooks and provide it to those students. Newsom also now says that he's backing legislation because of this. That bill by Assemblymember Corey Jackson, AB 1078, does three primary things, including allowing the State Department of Education to intervene, allowing the Department of Education to fine local school districts when they're mm -hmm. not providing adequate education. Um, so those are just some of the things that this bill does. Oh, and it also requires a two-thirds vote in order to uh, decide to remove any sort of material. Uh, the state of California is banning travel to many other states. Uh, we're famously, Montana was one of them at one time. What is going on with this new list and why? So it was just recently that the state of California announced that they have added three more states to that list, making it 26 states, a majority of the country that California now bans state travel funds, state funded travel to. And the reason for that is because those states have what California considers anti-LGBTQ plus legislation. Now, it's important to understand this is coming from the attorney general. This is coming from top lawmakers in the state. But on the other hand, there are other top lawmakers in the state, like Senator Tony Atkins, who leads the Senate, who says that this actually goes against what the state is trying to do. It actually isolates the LGBTQ plus community in those areas. It prevents California from going into doing research. Mm -hmm. So she's actually proposing legislation that would reverse the ban and in its place create a educational campaign to help out people in those communities in those states. Well, this is a, a happy time for you, sort of sad for us. This is your last appearance here on ABC 10. You moving back to your hometown of Miami to work. You're also getting married. So before we let you go, your most memorable moment here, something that really stood out to you covering politics here. I think one of my favorite stories, and I think it just speaks to what journalistic standards should be, is when I was interviewing the gubernatorial candidate, a state senator who was running against the governor. And I had seen previous interviews he had done with reporters, and they'd always asked him the same questions. You know, how do you feel about abortion? How do you feel about President Trump and the 2020 election? And these are questions that he just simply wouldn't answer. But these are also questions that Californians have the right to know if they're going to vote on someone. So in my interview with him, I expected what his first response was going to be, but I continued to follow up. I said, you know, these are just normal, fair questions that our viewers deserve to know these answers. And he actually ended up disclosing how he thought about all of this. And I was ended up quoting in a lot of, I was quoted in a lot of publications after that because I was able to get those answers out of him. So it's kind of a, mm -hmm. you know, a we stand for you story that I think um, political reporters across the country have done and will continue to do. Maybe that was your 15 minutes for now. Hopefully you'll have your 15 minutes again if this isn't the end. Morgan, good luck. We thank you for your time here at ABC 10. Good stuff. And uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll be back next Sunday with more What's Happening in California Politics. I'm Walt Gray.